According to the FBI's latest internet crime report, Americans over the age of 60 lost $1.7 billion to fraud last year. That's the highest loss amount reported out of any age group. Older adults are less likely to be tech-savvy and more likely to be home during the day to answer phone calls or reply to emails. They may have accrued a lifetime of savings, their own home, and a promising credit score. Whether it's by impersonating government officials or claiming to offer financial assistance, scammers are unrelenting in their attempt to con seniors. But elder fraud isn't only a hazard for the older population. Family members may lose property or assets if they were co-signed on a fraudulent loan with the elder victim. This can also lead to credit scores plummeting for anyone involved. The Grandparents Cam The Grandparents Cam is a type of social engineering attack in which fraudsters claim the victim's grandchild is in trouble. Imposters pretending to be the police call and say that their grandchild has been in an accident or is involved in a crime. Scammers will then ask their targets to take out large sums of money or make a wire transfer to save their grandchild. The scammer will even use the real name of the victim's grandchild along with other identifying information that they find online to make the scam more believable. In other cases, the fraudster will even pretend to be the grandchild and claim to be in trouble. In a recent version of this scam, fraudsters send ride-sharing services like Uber to pick up the cash in an envelope. The government imposter scams. In this senior scam, fraudsters contact older people claiming to be representatives from a well-known government agency. This could include Medicare, the IRS, or the Social Security Administration. Fraudsters may use caller ID spoofing to make the call seem genuine. And once you're on the line, they may parrot your social security number to further legitimize the call. The Elder Financial Abuse Scam Elder financial abuse happens when someone the victim knows and trusts like a family member, close friend, or caregiver tries to gain access to the senior's savings, credit, or assets. They could trick their victim into signing over access or power of attorney. Or they might even threaten to withhold care if they don't receive access. The false investment scam. Seniors often spend a lifetime saving to achieve financial security but that puts them at risk of false investments designed to steal their hard-earned money. In an investment scam, criminals pose as prudent financial advisors. They'll call and announce with what appears to be a lucrative investment opportunity. However, this is an attempt to extract transaction fees or steal investments from their targets. The tech support scam. In this type of fraud, the scammer masquerades as a tech support representative from a company you trust like Apple or Microsoft. They'll claim that your computer or device is at risk of being infected by viruses and then trick you into granting them remote access or paying for software that you don't need. Sometimes, the goal is to trick the victim into downloading what they think is helpful software. But when they do, it's actually malware that opens up the potential for cyber attacks that target the victim's banking information. This scam often happens through phone calls, but it's also common to see pop-up ads on websites targeting seniors. The robocalls and phishing message scam. Seniors are more susceptible to telemarketing and phishing scams than other age groups. With robocalls and spam attacks, vast numbers of emails or calls are made to exploit inexperienced or vulnerable targets. These messages all follow a similar pattern. The call or message claims to be from a company or group you know and trust, like your bank, the IRS, or even companies like Netflix. But if you engage, They'll try to wrest personal information, passwords, or financial account information from you. Spam emails are especially dangerous. If you click on a link or download an attachment, you could unwittingly download malware that gives the hacker remote access to your device. The sweepstakes and elder lottery scam. Fraudsters reach out to an elderly victim and claim that they've won a contest, lottery, or sweepstakes that they never entered. But to receive winnings, They'll need to pay upfront fees and taxes and supply their banking information for the transfer. Scammers will often string along their victims for months or years, claiming that they need additional payment. But any money that's sent goes straight to the scammer, the romance scam. In this type of elder fraud, scammers create fake personas on dating apps or social media to lure their targets. Con artists will research you online and use details that you've shared publicly to entangle you. Once they establish a rapport, scammers begin to request money, often in the form of gift cards, travel expenses, or health care costs. The reverse mortgage scam. 
many seniors would have built equity in their homes that they want to turn into a reliable and steady income. Reverse mortgages are available to homeowners over the age of 6 to 2 as a way to access their home equity. But scammers target the elderly with billboards, ads, and flyers for reverse mortgage scams. They'll claim to be helping you get access to your equity. But in reality, they either steal the money or even commit deed fraud and steal your home. The charity scam. Charity scams prey on your desire to help others. Fraudsters pretend to be a legitimate charity and steal donations and personal information. Fraudsters will also often call elderly victims in the wake of a natural disaster. They'll claim to be helping victims and solicit donations. But if you send money or give them your financial information, they'll disappear with them. Many elderly victims don't report fraud out of fear, embarrassment, or lack of resources. But anyone can get scammed no matter the age. Forgo any judgment and instead encourage open communication. This not only helps you identify scams in progress, but can also make elderly relatives more comfortable with speaking up if they are in a precarious situation. Share stories about your near encounters with fraud. Ask your more tech-savvy family members to share examples of scam emails or messages they've received. Be sure to point out how you knew the emails were fake so that your elderly family members can identify them in the future. Invest wisely. And as always, take care of your money.